Yeah, and he's off the mark with a slash and a four. Yeah, a little bit wide. Oh, smash and a four. That's probably the best shot of the inning so far from Fakhar Zaman. Have a look at this one. Crashed it. Absolutely dismissive in his style. Yeah, that's punish and four. It's not happening for the Windies. They're leaking runs on the offside. They're leaking runs on the leg side. Need a timeout, maybe. That was the stumps. That's a good ball. Missing the stumps on the leg side. No, in fact, that's given out. Leg before wicket. They have a review, but it did appear from a distance that this ball was slanting down the leg side. The big question was their bat on this delivery. It looked fairly close. It was angling down the leg side. Was that ball going on to hit leg stump? A little bit of deliberation before the decision is made. He's not going to review. So it will be the first wicket for the West Indies. Riyad Emirates strikes. He's gone for 17. It's 46 without loss. No fielder there. Another boundary for Fakha. Yeah, short and wide, and he needs no second invitation. Off the mark with the boundary. Third man, third man was up in the circle. And then bowling outside off stump, passing for trouble. Off the mark with the boundary. He's got all of that. That's all the way. That's a big six. And just talking about form, and there you have it. Slow delivery. Yes, no, yes, no. Directed. Pusan Tallet probably will go. And I think he's out. That was unlucky. That's why it's so important when it's noisy. Shout. Look at the batsman. Oh, he's played it so well. Just opening the face of the bat and beats the third man to a boundary. Also completes eight overs, 72 for two. It's gone after it, hit it hard. No chance for that fielder long on to cut it off. He was a little wide. Down the wicket, Hussein Talat. And he welcomes Samuels with a six. That was a clean hit. Seen this a lot in PSL. We've seen him strike big. Big shot. In the gap. Boundary for Pakistan. Not a bad delivery, but uh, been punished once again. Waited, Sarfraz. Allowed the ball to bounce and get into his range. There she goes, up, up and over. It's Safraz who gets into the act. His first maximum of his innings. Waits for that one and plays it over the circle. Show two here. Safraz has looked very good. 32 of just 18. Talat on his debut, 41 of 37. Chance of a run out here. Yes, it is. Well, his partner was always thinking there was a second run here, but wasn't to be, and the captain is not happy at all. And why would he be? He's not liking it, the non striker. And well, what a way to go. Very impressive debut for Hussain Talat. 41 of 37, it's 140 for three. Was slow, he waited for that and ended it right into the hands of that fielder. The captain goes, and that's uh, wicket number four for Windies. Didn't quite get hold of it, though he waited for it and then straight to that fielder. 
So far, as goes for 38, and Pakistan 150 for four. Oh, he stopped it on straight away. Couldn't show his class today, Asif. Was way outside the off stump. He's dragged it onto the off stump on this occasion. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. So stage was set for uh, Asif to showcase his talent. He's gone after scoring only one. 156 for the loss of five. Imrit continues, played very straight. Nicely done, but the throw isn't that good. Emirates didn't want to put a hand in that. Uh, Karachi all lit up. And international cricket returning. Stadium also under re renovation. They've done extremely well to get ready for the PSL final. And now this. West Indies have been good in the last couple of overs. They've gone full, they've gone for the Yorker, and they've gone for the change-up. So it's either all the pace off the ball, but when they're giving batsmen pace, the length has been excellent. They've been extremely full, Yorker, and making it difficult for the batsmen to get boundaries. And that's what's showing on the scoreboard. It looks Pakistan would get to 190 for sure. The way they started. Now 162 for five in the 19th over. We haven't seen a boundary in a while now. Try to bounce him. And that's again misfielded. And it's again Williams, but he's hurt himself in the process. Shoaib gets a hold of that. That's the six Pakistan was looking for. They need those runs here. And he's played that very well into the crowd. Cuts that well. And he's beaten the field as well. No chance for Fletcher. That's some big runs for Pakistan. 4-6-4. Toss and uh, nine out of ten times you'll get that. Yeah, Emrit is flying. 23 of the over, 182 for five. To the last over of the Pakistan innings. Gets a thick edge and he beats the fielder there. That should race away to the boundary. Good start to the over. Third man in the circle and he's gone for the wide Yorker. It's a shout for an LBW slower ball. Nevertheless, it's gone to the boundary and leg by signal by the umpire. So more runs coming in, and Williams feels he had his man. He's referred it, so we got a hold on. I think he's pleading with the keeper, please support me in this review. Because the uh, keeper had the best view of what had happened. That pass fine, but he went for the off-spinning slow ball. Little cutter, so it needs to pitch on leg stump. Might be hitting the stumps, but yes, one more time, please. I think it needs to be I'll pitching try, on leg stump, Back which off. from over the wicket is quite difficult. I think Ultra doesn't show anything. 
but where did it pitch? I think one more time, please. One more time to confirm. No, whether it pitch within the stumps, or down the leg side. There's no movement on all track, Happy. so no ball, there's no inside No back edge. in ball. Ball tracking, please. Where did it pitch? Miles yeah, outside the leg. Outside leg. Hammond bad to field umpire. Shows up. Stay with your decision. So he counted as four leg buys. Full toss over the head of the bowler and in fact all the way. First three balls, four, four, six. Yeah, he's a strong hitter like Shweb Malik. His captain likes it. Pakistan has teed off and now dealing in sixes. It's a good ball. He's running hard. Shweb Malik wants the second. That's good running here. Two more to the total. Takes them to 199 for five. Yeah, it's good going. Because this innings will give confidence to Pakistan. Not renowned of late to get a double turn in T T20 internationals, but this is a very good setup for them. So a boundary to level their previous best. Gets deep in the crease and plays that one to the boundary. Yes, Pakistan level their best ever. 203 for five and that's exactly what they scored against Bangladesh in 20 overs. The yeah, crowds are happy. They're loving every moment of this. Yeah, not a bad effort to get a double hundred against or in front of the home crowds and against the Windies. Well, very good innings from Shoaib Malik, 37 of 14. And Fahim remained not out on 16. So, half the game is, is over with Pakistan stealing the march on the West Indies with a hurricane performance with the bat. Fletcher and Morton to open for the West Indies side. Sorry, Windies as they're now called. Ball shot and six. What a way to begin the run chase. Now we're talking. Walton. Well, he's been very prolific. That's gone up in the air. This should be taken. Feeling during the PSL was outstanding by some of these young cricketers. Very good catch and Nawaz is off the mark. He's got a wicket in his first over. Just as I was about to highlight the excellence of Chadwick Walton back in the Caribbean. Flattered to deceive. Lofted shot. Didn't have the distance, didn't have the power. He's gone for six. It's six for one. Apesh gone, straightforward dismissal, it's not working for the Windies, another wicket goes down, another one will visit the dugout very soon. A soft dismissal, there was no swing, it's a good batting deck and he just plonked his front foot, front foot and didn't even went through with his shot, just blocked straight catch to man at uh, point. Big breakthrough for Pakistan. Fletcher goes without scoring. West Indies struggling now. 8, eight for 2. Another chance. Accepted. It's the same field. It's the same result. It ain't happening for the Windies. Hussain Talat, the catcher. And another man dismissed Windies. Where are they going with this, Darren? Well, they're being blown away. The captain, Jason Mohammed, the specialist batsman, fails to get off the mark yet again. It's a replication of what we saw with Andre Fletcher. He's gone without scoring. It's eight for three now.
chance and gets it over the infield for four. That's a very, very fast outfield. Hassan Ali. Picks up a wicket of the first ball. Windies are suffering and sliding down fast. Well, it's all going horribly wrong for the Windies and for Dinesh Ramdin. He's been in Pakistan playing in the PSL for 47 deliveries, hasn't scored a boundary. He fails yet again. Five deliveries, no runs. It's 15 for four now. Pulled away. It goes into the gap. A rare boundary for the Windies. Marlon Samuels, their only hope, the experienced player that he is. Shadab Khan gets a wicket, so it's all going swimmingly for Pakistan. The leg spinner now in on the act. Yeah, not a soft delivery. The West Indies, well, they're wobbling, wobbling badly. Rothman Paul, five from ten. It's 27 for five. And he gets a boundary. Yeah, the Windies, no big celebration because they're behind the eight ball. Yeah, in the air, should be a simple catch yet again. Takes it. Fahim Ashraf makes no mistake and Nawaz celebrates. Yeah, a little slower on that occasion. Mohamed Nawaz gave a little bit of an air. And uh, couldn't resist. Samuel hit it in the air. Easy catch for Fahim Ashraf. Marlon gone for 18. He's 33 for six now. Flighted delivery went against the swing, against the spin for the maximum. And he took a chance, Shadab. Give it an air. Both at Karachi this time, Emirat picks it up and he's found the fielder. Are we going to have a look? Hussein Talas seems a bit unsure because he has had a second look at his rear foot, but now he claims it. Another one gone. Straight at delivery, flatted, outside edge, straight to the fielder. Babar Azam is the fielder, they got the 8th wicket. It's all happening for Pakistan, they're playing like champions, they're playing like the number one side in the world. And they are. That's right, and when we come back, we'll find out if he's going to get a hat-trick. Top edge, there's a fielder underneath it. Yes, he's got his first wicket as well. All, ha all happening for this youngster. 40 odd runs, three catches, and then a wicket. Yeah, Pakistan making no mistake. Good in the field, good with the bat. And now the Devitan gets a wicket as well. It's 60 for nine in the 14th over, West Indies. And since they've had an injury, that should be the end of the game as well. 